Let's talk about Arthur Robert Ashe. Arthur Robert Ashe was born on July 10, 1943, in Richmond, Virginia. He died on February 6, 1993. Arthur Robert Ashe was born to parents Arthur and Mattie C. Ashe. Arthur began learning tennis from an early age in part because his father took a post at Brookfield in 1947. Upon graduating from high school, first in his class, Arthur went to UCLA, which had one of the best college tennis programs. Playing there brought him more recognition among tennis enthusiasts. That year, he was also named to the U.S. Davis Cup team as its first African-American player. He continued to refine his game, gaining the attention of his tennis idol, Patrick G Gonzalez, who further helped Ash on his serve and volley attack. The training all came together in 1968 when he still unmuted Ash shocked the world by capturing the U.S. Open title, becoming the first and still the only African-American male player to do so. Ash became the first African-American man to be ranked one in the grand first in the world. Ten years later, in 1985, he would become the first African-American man to be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. His achievements. Arthur Robert Ash Jr. was an American world number one professional tennis player. He won three Grand Slam titles. Ash was the first black player selected to the United States Davis Cup and the only black man ever to win the single title at Wimbledon, the US Open and the Australian Open. He was ranked world number one. In 1966, Arthur graduated with a degree in business administration. Arthur went to UCLA, which had one of the best college tennis programs. Playing there brought him more recognition among tennis enthusiasts. Following school, Arthur served his country, joining the U.S. Army from 16, 1966 to 1968. While stationed at West Point in New York, he eventually reached the rank of second lead to an lieutenant. Always is an activist when Ash learned that he had contracted AIDS through a blood transfusion, he turned his efforts to raising awareness about the disease. Ash was a champion both on and off the tennis court. He inspired a generation of athletes who otherwise would not have tried tennis to get on the court. He used the notoriety he gained in tennis to improve the world, especially in education and toleration. He was a man of tremendous character, courage, intelligence, and a role model for many of us. But what sticks out to me is how much he did for others when he could have done nothing. Though no fault of his own, he acquired a horrible disease, but instead of doing nothing, he raised awareness of HIV and AIDS research and st started a foundation that would carry on his legacy long after he had passed. Arthur Robert Ashe was born to parents Arthur Sear and Maddie, as mentioned. He was married to Jean Modosami on 20th February. 1977. He had one daughter named Cameron. Arthur Ashe picked up where Athlete Gibson left off, but he did not settle for just breaking down barriers. He took it to another level. He wanted South Africa banned from the Tennis Federation. A lot of athletes, athletes who were at the peaks of their careers, did not want to make trouble. They just wanted to collect their money. Arthur said, this is who I am, and I'm going to bring to light what's going on. His accomplishments for civil rights were not publicized, but he did a lot. Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in team sports, but tennis wasn't trying to include black athletes. These are the two courts that he ruled. From what we get, we can make a living. What we give, however, makes a life. The second one is success is a journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. In the second part about success, emphasizes a very important aspect that the world is slowly forgetting. Slowly forgetting. He, he acquaintances 
on how enjoying what we do is important than focusing on achievements. In the current era, where every single individual is running for their gains, we should pause and think about it. This is important. We got only one life, and by enjoying whatever we do brings life its complete previous work. Thank you, and have a nice day. And these are the resources that I've taken the information from.